Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install SQL Server Management Studio SSMS step by step. So first of all, what is SSMS? SSMS is an interface that we use to connect to the SQL Server instances. So let's go ahead and take a look how we can install it. Now think about a scenario where you just join a company and they have given you a laptop or desktop and uh, you don't have any SSMS. So you go to the search or run and type SSMS. Now you get this window. Okay, SSMS is not installed. It's not present. Okay, now, now you need to install that. Here on the techbrothersit.com, we have a tab called SQL Server DBA Video Tutorial. And if you want to take a look here, we have all the installation tab here and we have 10 videos on how to install SQL Server 2014 step by step, how to install SQL Server 2016 and all other different features you can install by taking a look on these videos. Now, what is the issue? We don't really need to go and install a database engine. We need to install only the SSMS. And in the latest version such as SQL 2016, I see that there is a, there is a standalone SSMS program available for us. So what I did, I just went to Google and type download SQL Server Management Studio. Once I type that, you can uh, the very first link is uh, download SQL Server Management Studio. Once you click there, then you are gonna see this part right here. Download SQL Server Management Studio January 2016 preview. So this is standalone SQL Server Management Studio. In the old version such as 2014, 2012 and all that, you had to add uh, express uh, edition download or uh, a developer or inter enterprise and then you were adding as a feature as a, I showed you here if you will go ahead and uh, watch this video how to install SQL Server it will tell you also how to add the features as well so you your choice if you want to take a look on this one but if you are working as a developer you just need the SSMS and if uh, you don't feel like you need to install database engine you don't need to create database locally for test purpose and all that you don't need uh, uh, to install the entire SQL Server data, database engine. You can just install the SSMS and connect to the development or UAT or QA or production servers and work on them. Now, I have downloaded this standalone SSMS executable. So this, is a, uh, this was taken some time, so I already have downloaded it. Let's go and install now. Here we see SSMS is a full setup dot executable. So double click here and now it's gonna run. It might take a little long time, so I'm not going to go all the way finish here, but I will show you how to start and uh, how to um, provide uh, important information. It, it, I don't think so it's gonna ask a whole lot of question, but most of the time next. So see here, we see that January 2016 preview, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, welcome, click uh, to install. So we are gonna go ahead and install. Let's see uh, how much time it will take. So this is the first video in this uh, tutorial. What I can do while this is loading packages and all that, this is uh, going to take some time here and then next part, uh, you will see the bar, uh, progress bar here for the installation. So uh, while this is uh, doing this part, I'm gonna go and take you to the website and show you how you can use this uh, tutorial. Here on the techbrotherit.com, uh, you will be going to the uh, SQL Server T SQL tutorial. And uh, I'm working on this uh, tutorial right now. And you can see that I have uh, divided this into multiple chapters. So first of all is uh, introduction to SQL Server Management Studio. Then second chapter is databases and third chapter is the schema. So I will keep adding uh, those chapters. Uh, and uh, once you open any of the video, let's say if uh, we go, let's, I have created these videos already. So I'm going to show you. The post is written. If you can't watch the videos in office, you can uh, read the post uh, and that's the same thing was uh, done in the video. Also in the videos, uh, I have to define a uh, chapter one SSMS part uh, and uh, uh, you can take a look on the video if you like. Uh, 
Now, if you are in a YouTube, you can uh, open from there uh, as a SQL Server T SQL tutorial uh, from our playlist. Uh, we have channel Tech Brother IT on a uh, YouTube. Let's see what happened with the, this uh, installation. Now uh, the installation is working. I, and uh, one last thing before I close it, it should just work fine. It will finish, and we will be able to open the SSMS after that. You don't need to wait on this window for me. But the last thing I would like to tell, let's say if uh, there are scripts used in this video. So if you are watching video on the YouTube, you will be going to the description. Let's say if we go here, open the YouTube right now. And then uh, we find, uh, let's say Tech Brothers. IT here. If you are in this channel and uh, then you go to the I am already logged in so it, it might show me a little different view but anyways the here are step-by-step -step tutorial by Tech Brothers you can see our SSRS uh, DBA tutorial and all different type of uh, tutorials uh, and here is uh, our SQL Server T SQL tutorial uh, if you click here then you're gonna see the list of those uh, videos uh, if I'm watching a video think about any video I'm watching right now and uh, if there is any scripts used in this video they should be this right here car. hold on uh, they should be used uh, here in the detail so I'm uh, putting all the links in the detail if uh, any script will be used so once you click on that link then it will take you to techbrotherit.com and that's where you will find those uh, SQL scripts uh, I hope uh, this video will help and installation will be finished maybe in the next 5 to 10 minutes and I will see you guys in next video.